Hello, this is William Cooper. Welcome to Awakening Together. I trust you're doing well. So in this series of podcasts, what we're going to do is two things. The first is to experience clearly who we are. That's the qualities of our being. And this is not an intellectual pursuit. This will be very visceral. Your being is radiant love, radiant happiness. It's like an atomic bomb explosion. You should be feeling that. That is how life feels for all of us when we're unblocked, clear, and flowing. An explosion of happiness. If you're not feeling that, it's because you're covered over in too many thought forms and emotions and activities. So we're going to look very clearly at how the mind works, how the personality works, because when you can see, you're free. To see is to be free. So as we look at that and look at how it works, we're going to also look at how to dissolve that which is covering us. Awakening and happiness are the same thing because we are happiness itself. Awakening simply means we've dissolved enough of the crust that's covering us over so that we can experience the happiness that we already are. There's nothing we have to do to become happy. We're already happy. We're just sometimes covered over. Nature is radiant. It shines through. It's not covered over. It glows. That's why people love nature. That's why we love nature. Well, we're the same way, but sometimes we are covered over with our old personalities and thought forms. So as we begin to experience our true selves more deeply again, we'll flow from there and create in this world with a power, a clear power that's not dissipated through a cloudy personality. We'll experience the entire rainbow of who we are from beyond creation all the way through creation, down through bliss and well-being and love. We don't have to wait until we're completely clear to feel these qualities of who we are because they're there all the time. So we'll begin to feel ourselves now and at the same time, let our old separated and cut off personalities, our clouded personalities, start to reform and integrate in a more clear way to who we are. So for a while, we'll both feel the radiance of who we are and unfortunately a little bit of the suffering that we've been feeling all along based on who we're not. Happily, that suffering will start to flow and dissipate as we orient to who we are. So how can we orient to who we are? What can we do now? Well, I talked about being covered up. What happens is we experience pain in our lives, and because we don't know what to do with it, maybe we're overwhelmed, we push that pain down, we push it aside, we repress it or suppress it. So that pain, that hurt, fear, or anger, is embedded in our system, in our mind, in our emotions, in our thoughts, in our body. And it creates an energy disturbance that does not allow the nature of our being, love, happiness, peace, to flow easily and completely through our life experience. We get blocked by these repressions. So how can we release them so that we're not blocked? The first thing that we can do is relax. Let them do the opposite of repressing them or suppressing them. Just let them be. Let them exude the pain that they're made of. For instance, if you go through life and something triggers you and you feel some pain, that will be old pain that you've suppressed 
and it begins to come up. So rather than tense or think too much about it or try to resist it, which keeps it in your system, simply observe it, relax and let go. You can relax and let go because you'll notice that you, the place from which you're looking, has no problems. There is no tension in the place that's looking. When you let everything go, the only place that's left is the place that's looking, which is you, with no problems. So take refuge there in your being, and from there, you're safe, you're fine. So you can relax and let go as you experience all that's not you, all the troubles, all the repressions, release, relax, and exude their energy until they dissipate. Release, relax, and let go. Relaxing into happiness. That's the title of this podcast, Awakening Together, Relaxing into Happiness. Simply observe it and relax. When it relaxes, tension dissipates. When you get a massage and your tension is relaxed, what happens to it? It disappears. It releases, relaxes, and disappears. The same with your blockages. The same with these repressions. You don't have to do anything because your innate power of your clear being, as it flows through your body, washes and pushes all these disturbances one by one out of your system. It's like a beautiful clear stream washes the blockages out if you just let it. Another analogy of a stream is it might be tumultuous, But if you remove the boulders within it, suddenly it becomes very quiet. Same with us. Our life might be tumultuous, but when we let the obstacles, the energy disturbances, release, relax, and let go, our innate nature, our being, flows very easily. We flow with peace, love, and well-being, which is what we are always. Remove the blockages and we experience our true nature, which is always there. It now flows through our body-mind and we experience our life as love, peace, wellness, happiness. So, here's a powerful and fundamental practice that you can do now, which we'll build on in future podcasts. If you experience painful emotions or tensions, just let it happen. Don't fight it. Don't resist it. Let it come up. And the best you can, just relax and watch it. As you watch it, you'll feel a lot of energy release. It might happen in minutes, hours, days, or months, depending on how much you have repressed But as it comes up, it begins to relax, release, and disappear. Now it's out of your system and can't disturb you. The hard part is the reason that we repressed it in the first place is because it was painful. So when it comes back up, it will release what it's made of, which is pain. It's hurt, fear, or anger. So we might try to interrupt the flow again, by doing some activity or distracting ourselves or watching too much TV or having a drink or doing a number of things. It's important to just let it run its course now instead of doing those things to distract ourselves and repress our pain again. Now, instead of repressing it, experience it, Perhaps it hurts, but you experience it and you relax as much as you can as you do and it will begin to dissipate and come out of your system. You can let go and relax as you experience it because you 
take refuge, you relax from the place that's watching. And the place from which you're watching, which is your being, has no pain. You're watching the pain, but you're not the pain. And that's a very important distinction. Rest in who you are. Rest and notice the place from which you're watching is not where the pain is. You're just watching and experiencing pain that has been repressed in your personality. And once it lets go, you're still here, but it's gone. You're the one watching, the permanent one. I realize that this can be very difficult at times, so take it in bite-sized chunks. You don't have to completely cleanse yourself all in one sitting. That's impossible to do anyway. But do what you can. Life will bring things up. Let those pains come to the surface. Relax and simply observe them. Don't try to change them. Don't resist them. Then they can spin like a knotted up tight rubber band. You let one end go and it spins and spins and spins and releases all of its energy and discharges. And now the tension is gone. The same will happen inside of you. So do that as it comes up. But then when you need to take a break, sure, take a break because you don't want to get overwhelmed. Just take this in bite-sized chunks. The entirety of these podcasts will give you more and more tools to work with this phenomena, this relaxing, releasing, and letting go. That's the process of awakening. And in total letting go, you're totally awake. You don't have to do anything to restore peace, happiness, and love because that is who you are innately inside. That is your being. Powerful love, peace, and well-being. So that's always there. That part is fine. All you're doing is removing the boulders from the stream by letting them discharge, release, relax, let go, and then they dissolve and they remove themselves. Nothing you have to do. Your innate being clears the path for you if you just let it flow. But this is something you can do now. So, relax, release, and let go. Enjoy life. And as more blockages relax, release, and let go, you'll feel happier and happier and happier until it's an explosion of happiness because you're not blocked and your powerful being flows unobstructedly through your life. I look forward to talking to you more in the future podcasts, and we'll go into this all much deeper. Take care. Bye.